since the dawn of time, mankind has sought to combine things that don't really need to combine. One day the wine was walking along and it met some meat. And they were like, we should get married. And once they got married, they got to talking. They had an idea. What if we soaked a hunk of meat in Merlot and made a Merlot burger? It would sit in the Merlot overnight, absorbing Merlot into its crust before being smashed into a frying pan and cooked and eaten. And this is the story of that burger. Oh, that probably should have gone in the other way. Get you in there. This is only the finest Merlot, and we spare no expenses here. Ta-da! We'll check on it later. A whole day later, it just falls apart. It's so tender. Not that we needed to worry about tenderness from ground beef. We can see that uh, the color has penetrated, but not all the way. We can see layers of uh, unpenetrated beef. This is also denatured quite a bit. My anticipation is this will not hold together. No reason to be lazy. Big salt crystals, pepper. You know, live it up until you flip it up. Oh, oh, this isn't hanging on together. The other side has more of a, a normal raw beef flavor. Perhaps this was protected by uh, the barrier of itself. We're gonna let that rest. Welcome to the stone top. Home with a frying pan. A pan that's getting hot now. Woo. And over here we have our rested Merlot burger. When the pan gets hot, we can put oil on it and it'll season the pan. Now the pan's too hot, but we season the pan. It's according to plan. So here's our Merlot burger. Oh, oh it didn't hold shape for that. What was one thing inside? is now the top. <laughs> Sometimes the burger chooses what it wants to be. If you fight it, you're only going to make it worse. Mrs. Hamburger, what's your prediction? I think it's actually going to be really good. Time to flip this. Oh, no, it's going to fall apart. Uh, I think it's going to be yummy. That's a burger! Just let it do the break apart that it wants to be. We'll stack it on our bun. Chop, chop. Chub, 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 And we'll deglaze it with a little Merlot to make things come off the pan nice and easy. We bubble it. Here's what the pan looked like after removing the hamburger. All right, so we get to try to shape these together somehow. So you can see what that looks like. And it's biting time. The wine flavor is really strong, but it's also kind of amazing and juicy and full of tannins flavors as well as a lot of funk. Going in for another bite. This is a hamburger. That's good. The wine is really strong, but it works. Da 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 da! It's a three out of five hamburger.